YouTubers, and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. So, I know I've been absent for a little bit, but I had to take vacation. Literally, I went back home to Venezuela and I was recording many videos there for you, but I didn't have the time to edit that. And as well, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna leave it here, you know about the big news. So yeah, that has me being a little bit lazy and a little bit just putting aside all the editing, but I'm back on track and now you can expect again one video a week like always. So this video is about Venezuela, specifically our favorite island called Isla Margarita or Margarita Island. And we go there so often. We have an apartment there. We really enjoy going there. So I just want to show you how one normal day in Margarita looks like for us. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe. You give this video a big thumbs so usually I talk about Czech Republic in my channel, but I'm Venezuelan, so I like to just interconnect both cultures because I find that very interesting. So I hope you enjoy, and that's it. Let's start with the video. Good morning. So our day starts like this. Jan is enjoying a coffee. My parents haven't woke up yet, so we're gonna just gonna be chilling here, and then we are gonna have some real breakfast. So now my dad is gonna make pancakes for breakfast. We thought we had an entire pancake box, but we just have that remaining. But it's okay. So we're just gonna have pancakes and we're gonna have as well turkey bacon that I don't know where it is, it's over there. And later on, we're gonna go to the beach. We are having some scrambled eggs. My parents and my husband is having fried eggs. And here we have turkey bacon because we couldn't find normal bacon. Amazonian honey, normal syrup, and fig marmalade. Yum. So now we're gonna enjoy this. Um, it's already so late, but we're never early for the beach, so it doesn't matter. And then we are gonna go to the beach. Yay. Here we go. It is 11.27 a.m. And we already had breakfast, of course, and we're packing to go to the beach. I guess we're gonna go to Playa Barguito. I'll show you guys. We're packing the fridge and everything. I'll show you more. Here, we're taking one bottle of Bucanans, one bottle of rum, uh, cacique, and some chips and foods. And here, we're taking a cooler that has, um, right now it has like water and ice. But it also, we're gonna also take this. That is a Tupperware with some like things from Czech Republic to like try in the beach. So we're waiting here to go to the beach. Jan already went to the pool this morning. He's very impressed with the marble of the table because it has fossils, <laughs> which is funny. Mommy is already eating chocolate with her purse in the shoulder because we're waiting for my dad for 15 minutes. And Papi is ready. Alejandra is almost ready. And I'm ready as well. It was raining this morning, but as you can see, the weather got good. So we are going now. We are in Playa El Agua, or El Agua Beach, and we're gonna go here to um, the place of Janet, that is the one that we like the most. So if you ever come, you know where to, where to come. You have to ask for the place of Janet. Ay. 
So when you go to the beach in Margarita, you usually don't bring your own umbrella. I know some people do, but this is how my family does it. So you just so you just go to a to a stand. They're in the other side of the road, but they have their chairs, they have their umbrellas. You pay them a little bit for the chairs and umbrellas, and then you can order drinks from them, you can order food from them, and it's a very nice way of supporting local businesses that for us is so, so, so important. So here it ha we have our two umbrellas, and now we're waiting for the cocadas. I'll show you once we get them. So we were gonna have cocadas, but there's no electricity. That's something that really happens quite frequently here. But we decided to get some coconut water. They keep those coconuts in the fridge. So they're super, super cold. And you just drink the water. Order a bucket of beer that my mom is enjoying. Alejandra is enjoying her coconut. Jan is enjoying, enjoying his coconut. My dad is enjoying his beer. We always bring interesting things. For example, this is queso de mano. And those are the types of snacks that we like bringing to the beach. Y aquí están las cocaditas. So here, actually, in the beach, they bring and they sell you pearls, the real pearls. I'm not kidding. So he comes here, he shows you everything you have. Those are pearls from Margarita. And my mom just bought the pearls and the necklace for the sunglasses. So she can just hang them like that. How cool is that? Funny enough, the pearls are Margaritan pearls, but these pieces are Czech crystal, so it's the perfect mix. <laughs> so he came and went, we bought a bunch of things because, well, that's my family. We just like to buy jewelry in the beach. I got this necklace of tiny, tiny pearls and I got a ring for a friend and my husband got a bunch of things for, well, we both got a bunch of things for my mother-in-law. See how cold it is. Ah! Yanni is saying it's warm, but let's be honest. I mean, it's warmer than Galicia, but it's not warm. They just brought some food, so we're gonna do that. La comida, papi. La comida. So I just stopped by here and I saw my dad eating. What are you eating? Tostones. 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 This one. Camarones. 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 Uh, the shrimp and squid. <clears throat> and we're gonna go eat that right now. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yum. Jan is getting 12 oysters, that's gonna be three dollars and he's gonna open them for him. And now to eat here, we just order some ceviche. If you don't know what ceviche is, it's like um, raw food that has been cooked in lime. And we are just gonna eat it right here. And now they're enjoying the beach. Come on, look, look the color of the water. Are you kidding me? How fun is this? I mean, this is how Christmas used to look like for me my entire life and I should never forget that. Bellos. Here suffering. Suffering. 
So now they want to make a snowman. So we have here some help to make the snowman. And we'll see how that looks like. Okay, so um, we finished the beach and now we came to the pool just to enjoy a little bit because the sunset is happening and we're salty and we just want to enjoy and this pool is extremely warm so it's perfect and I'm going to show you the sunset now. So the view from this apartment building is amazing for the sunset. So we are just going to chill here. After we finished the snowman or the sandman, it was time to go back home, to change, to take a shower. There hasn't been much water here in Margarita, so we have a water tank and we are trying to like use that for now. And we had to take very fast showers. And now we're gonna go to a restaurant to eat. I'll show you that as well. This, because you do like this, then they always take your temperature and they give you spray of uh, alcohol. So literally it's much more organized that I've seen in Europe, to be honest. They force you to step there and clean your feet. So that that I show you is super interesting because they have it not just in this restaurant, but they literally have it in every mall and everywhere you go, they take the temperature, they put you the gel in the hand so you don't skip it. And in this case, they also have the thing of the shoes. In some places they even have like a, like a gas that you have to pass through a chamber of gas that is like a full disinfectant body is way different than what we are seeing in Czech Republic at least. So now I am, we are in this restaurant. It's called El Fondeadero and it's perfect for seafood and I was really craving some asopado or something like very, very nice. I'm gonna show you once it's here. Here's the first dish to share. This is called Guacucos al Ajillo. Literally, is these shells in kind of like a garlic butter sauce. Yum. And now as well, we're gonna share this delicious focaccia. Delicious. Yeah, and here we have our asopado that is kind of like a pasta in a little bit of liquid. I'm so excited for this. They serve it from there and they usually add olive oil and Jerez that is um, it's a wine, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that's how they final, like, finish it. Now he's gonna serve it for us all. And here is the asopado. As you can see, it's called that way because it has like soup in the bottom. That's the sauce. Is the sauce, is the soup, the soup is the sauce. Like seafood. So we just finished the dinner with tip and everything was a hundred dollars, which is amazing for what we ate. Am I right? And uh, that's it. Now we're gonna go home, and that's the end of today. One day vlog in Margarita with my mommy there, and probably we're gonna just like watch TV now. Thank you. So that was it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up, as well as go to follow me on Instagram. You really don't want to miss out on those news. I think is the not the last photo, but the one before, and that's gonna be interesting. I mean, let me know if you already checked that. Of course, I'm gonna be making videos about that. So that's it. See you next week with a new video. Bye.